I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Rock Common in Ireland. I'm here for the Truck Parade 2019. So yeah, plenty of trucks to show you. I'll also be joined by John McGarry in a very nice truck as well. He'll be taking me for a drive in this run. So yeah, let's get cracking. The Ross Common Truck Parade. Okay, now that all the horns have stopped, we're gonna kick off with this R420 from Service Matters. Now keep an eye out for this guy during the Killarney Historic Rally. He's going racing a Mark II Ford Escort. So I'll be down at that rally myself. Uh, I'll be hiding in a ditch in the early hours of that morning, uh, getting all the footage down at the Killarney Historic Rally. I'll be keeping an eye out for him. Uh, let's hope he uh, does a good performance. Then we have the Scania R560. There beside it from uh, 2011. Then a Scania Streamline, the R520. Then another one here, the R480. Uh, the Super there, I've no idea what... What does the Super mean, guys? <laughs> Nobody knows. Okay, we have the Stralis, uh, 510 horsepower. Uh, good pulling power from these. I've shot a video of one of these before uh, from John McGarry's depot up in French Park. Uh, good pulling power. Um, more than their 2,300 newton meters would suggest. Yeah, I do uh, like the pulling power. Then we have the two Renault T ranges, the T460s uh, from Image Furnishings. Then the R580, another top line and uh, streamline R620. I have a very nice R620 to show you down here. Oh, you've not seen an interior like the one in this down here. Oh yeah, talk about customization. I'll show you what it's all about with that one. Uh, then we have two used Volvo FH500s. They've come in from the UK recently. A uh, bunch of more Scanias there. We've got an R420 with a mid lift and the R560 there beside it. Uh, We've got a very nice 1999 ERF, the EC11 from 1999. Uh, we have this T cab, this is a T500. Some nice interior in that as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk down here because I want to show you this one first, this R620 from McNamara's, and then we'll have a look at this one because it's just the difference is just unreal. Let me just uh, open up the door here. And, oh yeah, we have all the catwalk finishes done by Transtech. So they always do a great finish on the catwalks. All around by the, the Susies. Up around by the wind deflector as well. Yeah, check them out, Transtech. Okay, let's open it up and give you a look inside. Nice finish on the door handle. And the th three steps, look. All customized. Uh, yeah, special interiors. We have the chrome handles as well, look. Okay, have a look at this. All oh, the lockers, the finish on the back wall. He's got the bunk above the windscreen. Uh, we got the television, all oh, the leather finish there. Uh, and look, oh, this lovely finish on the bed. All oh, the seats, nicely done. But uh, yeah, that's quite, and look, the top of the dashboard, all oh, leather finish. Really nice. I like that. Oh, and on the steering wheel he has the wood finish. But uh, yeah, that's very nice. But I can show you an even better one beside it. Wait until you... You like these trucks, guys? Yeah, I like the <laughs> videos. Yeah, thanks. I'm your okay, <laughs> thanks, guys. But uh, let's, let's hop in and have a look at this. Now this is nice, isn't it? interiors on a different level. Just look at the finish on the door, look. Apparently this is 30 hours of work alone, just on the door. This is all airbrushed. Just look. And this is all airbrushed. All the finish here, this wood look finish, that's all airbrushed. Up here, all on the door card, even in the speaker. I mean, this is serious detail on this Scanny R series. Look, all the silver on the buttons, all this finish on the door handle look this handle here and all around the dashboard look at all the buttons look the steering column look at the seats the finish this is serious customization look 
and he has the Pudge and Raj theme going on throughout the cab. All the lockers, this is all airbrushed. Just look at this. The television, the curtains. Look at the table here with the Scania Griffin. And even the remote control, look. All done in the wood finish. Look, that one on the floor. I mean, that's serious work, look. All leather finish here. All down on the dashboard, all this wood finish. More airbrushing. All down here as well. Man, this is, I've not seen this level inside in an R series before. <laughs> yeah, any of you guys that were driving R series now, you're probably looking at this thinking, what in the name of God has this guy done? It's just, I love it. And look, all the curtains, all the airbrushing up on top, even up here, the CB, look. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's class, real class. All this sprayed finish as well. Yeah, all up the top. Yeah, that's a, uh, and he has Podge and Rod. <laughs> yeah, I'll just show you the back as well. He has it painted on the back and the seats. I mean, like this is just on a different level, guys. I mean, the cost to get this done would you have much change from 20,000 euro? I don't know. But uh, you can you can put the rope back on it now, guys. Yeah, I really love that. Look at the steps and all. Just like the one beside it. The finish. Yeah. You like this truck, guys, do you? You like it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, don't ask any questions about the 192 registration. Yeah, it's a 2007 model. But don't ask any questions about that registration. But that is the registration on it, okay? <laughs> okay, let's walk around and just give you a look at the catwalk finish here. Nicely done there as well. And he's got the stacks out the back. <laughs> and the Podge and Rog painted on the back. The R620, top line. So, um, who hooks underneath the trailer and scrapes up all this? Who's going to be the first person to scrape it up? <laughs> look at the back, look. The finish with the lamps. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Technically, this truck is brand new. It's got a 192 registration. Even though it's from 2007. But, yeah, great work done on those trucks. Yeah, so, uh, if you really want to get them customized, this is the kind of work that you can do, but I mean, you're talking like hundreds and hundreds of hours of work. <laughs> I'm not sure how many, but that is just massive work. Then we have a brand new S650 Scania here as well. I mean, cost-wise for a 4x2, I'm only guessing in or around 140, 145,000 euro. Um, that's only a guess. Very hard to get definitive prices on any new trucks, really, but. Yeah, oh, we've got a 1999 FL there as well, FL6. You'll remember the 1988 FL6 I drove for Cannonball Ireland. But uh, yeah, okay, let's look at a few more trucks over there. Okay, this guy from Ward and Burke has just started pulling in in the Scania S650. And let me show you around this 1979 Toyota Land Cruiser pickup. What a classic machine these are. Let me just hop inside. This man's gonna give me the key to start it up. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at this. Oh yes, many an a Toyota enthusiast would love this. Um, this came in from Australia, this particular example. Look, look how simple the layout is. Huh? 1979. It's in neutral, let's start it up. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a couple of revs here. It's definitely in neutral now, okay, there we are. Yeah, things were a lot simpler back in the 70s, boys. Huh? And look, you can disconnect this and over there and you can take the whole top off, take the whole roof and windscreen off. So that would be quite uh, entertaining, <laughs> driving around with no roof on it, uh, just the doors. So how long have you got this now? Oh, a year. A year now, yeah. Brought in from Australia. Brought in from Australia, yeah. 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 So there must be very little rust on it, so I'd say. 
Let's have a look underneath here. Huh? Yeah. No real rust issues with this anyway. You got the leaf springs at the back. Yeah, real classic there, guys. Okay, let's have a look around the Scania fire engine here from 2006. This is the P270. So yeah, bringing back memories to the Volvo I drove for Cannonball Ireland. Let's have a look at the big crew cab in this. A lot more space in the rear of this. Yeah, so this is a Roscommon fire service. And uh, yeah, you'd have, you'd have a big fire crew in this now. So we'll hop inside and press the horn. See what it sounds like. But uh, yeah, the yellow handles. So let's hop inside. It's already ticking over. It's got an automatic gearbox. Six speed gearbox. Apparently it's uh, a lot more faster on the road than the Volvo I was driving. And look, we've got these sockets as well. So you can plug in your stuff there. Uh, tachograph, I don't think firemen use tachographs, did they? Anyway, there's one in it. So let's just hoot the horn here. <laughs> let's go again. Okay. Whoa! Turn it off. There, it's off. And uh, this one here, listen. Yeah, that sounds like the Volvo one. But uh, yeah, we have a small little uh, lamp there as well. It pulls out on a little hose and the spotlight there and your walkie-talkie your radio this screen I've no idea what this screen does no idea oh let's turn it on anyway and see, see what it's oh it's a camera oh, it's a camera okay and you see this bar I don't know what this bar is for here I've no idea what that is so if anyone can answer in the comments what is this bar for in front of the windscreen I've no idea but yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you that really quick uh, with the automatic gearbox. 270 horsepower and he's got the winch on the front as well. So, uh, yeah, how much is the tax on these? Oh, it's zero. <laughs> They're tax exempt. Okay, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, there you have it. The 2006 Scania P270. Okay, this is a bit of non-copyright music I wrote myself for my YouTube channel. And we also have the Iveco Stralis, 570 horsepower. So you'll remember I shot a video of one of these not so long ago, check it out. Okay, I need to show you what truck I'm taking part in as well. John McGarry very kindly gave me a spin in his truck. Wait until you see this truck guys, wait for this one. special truck shortly. Yes. Got the six-speed gearbox, and this 
dashboard layout here is more or less what you'd see in, in a Stratus. Yeah. 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 And we have the lane departure warning system here and the advanced emergency braking system. Yeah. You know, it has we'll try it some nice features. Oh no, don't. <laughs> That's already happened on a truck run before. Yeah. So. <laughs> we don't want that happening today. No, I don't. And especially not on camera. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, there's good. You know, like, I'll tell you one thing about Iveco, they do maximize the storage, John. Well, they maximize, you know, like, they maximize the amount of pockets. Yeah. There's pockets everywhere. And look, we've even got uh, little hooks up here, and if I move to the door, um, almost like the Stralis, you and know, you've got storage in there and there. You put your money in here. Okay? Yeah, and even in here, look. It's safety deposit box. Look. Yeah, so the, yeah, they are kind of, yeah. Yeah, like they're, 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 uh, they're maximizing the space, you know. And down here, more storage as well. Yeah. So, how many more miles, John? I, I, I think this is a two day event. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this truck. I how much? I, I, how much? Okay. How much? I As it get, stands. I have to get back to you on that. <laughs> See, this is what I keep telling you guys. Anytime you ask a salesman a price of a truck, there's always a big rigmarole about how much is the truck. Give me a ballpark figure. I, 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 I honestly, on this particular truck, I, I couldn't. To within like a thousand, two thousand yeah. ballpark. No, another salesman has has indeed almost done on this, and I, I I just can't get involved now. And you don't want to be treading on I his toes. I don't want to be getting in any trouble at all whatsoever. <laughs> have you any people you have in the, in the no job? I, I I don't know many people. <laughs> I know. Everyone has to have somebody in the no. I'd well believe it. I'm surprised at the amount of people you know, no, John. I, I don't you know don't that have people. one of your in the know people. No, you see a lot of people know me, but I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> John is a Roscommon man, and John tells me, I mean, I don't know, 
that uh, Roscommon is the biggest county in Ireland. It has to be. <laughs> there can't be anyone bigger. Well, if you say it is, it has to be the biggest county in Ireland. And you have already told yeah. me about some some ancestors of yours originated from Roscommon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So there you have it, guys. Roscommon is the biggest county in Ireland. I never even knew that. Do you ever get one of those passengers in your car that just loves to press buttons? No, not in my car, because I'll stop at once. <laughs> <laughs> don't be fiddling with anything, just leave it alone. But am I okay to press? You're okay, just, just sort it out, do what you have to do. And, uh, just, I'm like Dougal, looking at the red button. Yeah, don't press it. Huh? Man, hold that horn! We've got a louder horn than you! It's Sam, it's Sam the fireman, is it? Yeah. This is the fireman, Bob the Okay, we've made it back to Hannon's Hotel in Roscommon. Way! Who's that horn? <laughs> Come on, we need to show these guys the best truck. We're in the best truck. This is, this is the... Uh... Hi, we're in the best truck. Oh. This is the best truck. <laughs> Have a look at the best truck. This is the best truck. So what was your favourite truck? It's a Three Campbell. This what? One, no, 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 no. Three Campbell. No, that's the wrong answer. The You're wrong supposed answer to say Ibeco. You're supposed oh. to say Ibeco. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at our truck. <laughs> okay, that's it. We've made it back. Back here at Hannon's Hotel in Roscommon. So yeah, John, what did you think? Great day, fantastic. Yeah, the Roscommon truck parade. I mean, it wasn't a massive run. They had about 60 trucks taking part, but it is their first run. And it's all for a great cause, Roscommon Cancer Support. So each truck entry was 30 euro. And uh, yeah, the Iveco Euro Cargo. This is the seven and a half tonner, um, 160 horsepower. This so our vehicle yeah. of choice for the run. Yeah. And of course, we all know that when John brings a truck to a run, he likes to bring the best truck. He told me he was bringing the best truck. It's special. Yeah, and he, you ask for. he also said he was going to upstage everyone. And there you have it. That's what he upstaged everyone with. <laughs> so if you want any more details on the Iveco truck range, contact John McGarry. He's based up in French Park, near French Park, uh, for Emerald Truck and Van. That's it. For anything you want to know, give us a shot. Yeah, for the whole Iveco range. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you off. We have two Volvo FH 500s. Just taking off there. So that's it. Ross Common Truck Parade done. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, Bye. myself and John, take care guys. Cheers! So it may be no good. And I know where the run is. You can do so much in the editing, John. You wanna watch out? Oh, jeez, we nearly stalled. Put a stall on camera. <laughs>